Hello everyone, this is Mamadou and I'll be talking about relational databases and uh, not only SQL databases. Um, in doing research on this topic, one of the interesting things that I found um, regarding not, not only SQL database happened to be uh, the structure in, this, in which they are stored the data. Um, I learned about how you know they can for, uh, store it in the form of JSON graphs and documents I would say the document one actually stood out because um, of all the assumptions I had when I read it um, but really it's uh, sort of in this uh, form of JSON as well um, regarding the question first off I would like to uh, start with examples of relational and uh, not only SQL database for relational database, uh, these are really common. Uh, we have DB2, uh, that happens to be one that I use uh, a lot. Um, we also have MySQL, Oracle database. Um, and for for uh, not only SQL database examples, uh, the one that always stood out was MongoDB. Uh, for Postgres SQL, it, it is sort of in between relational and uh, non-relational. Um, regarding the question on the uh, discussion assignment whether uh, relational databases will go extinct uh, my answer to that is no I think uh, relational databases are here to stay simply because for most organizations around the world um, they've uh, already implemented systems using the relational database and uh, you know, one of the main advantages of that is that it follows a structured schema compared to uh, uh, not only SQL. And for that reason, um, it will take a lot of resources um, to transfer that from uh, uh, relational to not only SQL. Another big advantage uh, that I believe relational database has and that will be very useful for the near future will be that it can perform uh, high complex uh, transactions uh, which for example can be uh, joining tables uh, querying complex transactions uh, between uh, sets of data in different tables uh, to produce a particular results um, and so for those two main reasons I think that relational databases will be here uh, to stay um, regarding the usages uh, of these uh, two types of database management systems. Again, it really goes back to uh, the type of uh, business that you are running, in my opinion. Um, in the case of uh, not only SQL, it is really fast. Um, so if you um, do have a lot of data to process, it will uh, be very good to use it. Um, it is not structured data, so really one can process the data as it comes in. In the case of um, relational database like DB2 it has to be structured which um, in my opinion also helps developers uh, to understand the data that they're working with here uh, those are the kind of uh, examples I had when I uh, looked into this thank you